Hi everyone, in this video module, we will see how to calculate the profit margin for each subcategory using add a field option. Okay, so in this table, what do we have? We have subcategories and profit in each subcategory. Now, instead of the total profit for bookcase, which is 43,000, I wanted to know what is the profit margin for bookcase? What is the profit margin for copiers? Likewise, for all subcategories, I need to find the profit margin. What is basically profit margin? Profit margin is nothing but the uh, total amount of profit divided by total amount of sales. If I'm making a sales of 50,000 and I'm making a profit of 5,000, then my profit margin is 10 percentage. Okay. So likewise, if I want my profit margin to be displayed instead of the total margin, how can I do it? I'll simply go to add a field. In add a field, I will type my field name as profit margin and then what is the formula like uh, in excel we start with equal to but here we can directly start we can start sum of total sum of total profit divided by sum of total sales okay so now uh, verification is being done whether my formula is correct or not and Google Data Studio is telling that my formula is valid. Okay, so it's good for me. I'll just go and save. So a new field is created and I'm going to click done. Okay, so now when you scroll down, you can see that there is a field called profit margin. Okay, now I want this profit margin to be displayed in the table. How to do it? Very simple. Drag and drop the profit margin in metric place and you will get this okay see now you can see the profit margin here 0 0.18 0 0.14 0 0.14 but google data studio is considering this as a number but i know that this is a percentage okay so how to help google data studio understand that this is not a mere number but rather it's a percentage how can i do it it's again very simple i'll click the table i'll go to resources I'll manage the added data sources. Once I click it, I will edit this current sheet. I'll scroll down to see the metrics available. The metric of interest currently is profit margin. By default, it is considered as a number, but I'm going to help Google Data Studio realize that it's not a number, it's a percent. And once I click percentage, it is done. Okay, now I'm expecting all my values to be displayed as percentage see you got it the appliances profit margin is 18 percent accessories 14 percent now we got the profit margin so this is how different formulas can be used to create different different fields and produce visualizations of our interest that's all for this video we'll catch up in the next one thank you